All right, you guys. So before we get started, we have two hours for this class. It won't take that long to do primary series unless you'd like to spend about 20 minutes in Utplutahi at the end. Then we could just jump right in there. But generally, I save some time for some questions after class. And quickly before class, I'll run through some options and alternatives for a handful of postures. Then I'll remind you about those once we're in the flow. That way you have a, a little reference for it. You may not need that, but it's a good um, thing to just have, yeah? So you know you have some alternatives to stuff. We'll start by looking at some of the postures that require a lotus or half lotus. So anytime we have to do something like that, I like to give alternatives for it. The first time we encounter that is in the standing sequence. You could just remain standing, hold your foot, hold your knee, don't fold forward at all. Just remain there and be happy. Or you start to drop the knee, you keep hold of the foot with one hand, the other hand you hold your elbow. So that's another option, you could do that. When we get to seated sequence, we have that same posture again. You have the same options. You could just hold your foot, hold your knee, or grab your elbow. You can fold forward a little if you wish, or just remain sitting straight up. When we get to this posture where we take our foot back, yeah, you may feel like you're gonna fall over. You can put one hand on the floor, the hand of whatever leg is straight. That will have a dual purpose of preventing you from falling, but also it can help to guide you forward in the posture. When we get to Janu Shirshasana C, where we rotate the foot, you could just take the outer ankle, pull your heel toward your belly, and just sit up like this. Don't worry about folding forward at all or you start to rotate the foot, but you keep hold with your hands, don't fold forward, it's okay. Marichyasana B and D both have a half lotus. If you can do that, great. If not, put the one foot on the floor, tuck it behind your heel, then it's the same as A, yeah, forward, or for D, you can leave the foot there, rotate round, and put a hand on the floor, something like this. With the foot on the floor like that, there's no danger on the knee. When we get to Navasana, no problem for the knee. Navasana is a boat, boat posture. But if your boat hits choppy seas or starts to sink, ooh, ooh, you could bend your knees or even hold behind your knees. Yeah. We do it five times, so... You might choose to do a couple, and then if you need to modify, you have that option. For Buddha Pidasana, if you can enter from down dog, great. Otherwise, you could put hands and feet on floor, squat down, bending the elbows to create this sort of a shelf on the back of the arms. You could remain here with hands and feet on the floor or maybe start to cross and decide if you want to go further, maybe even folding forward. For Kurmasana, when we take the arms back under the legs, if that's too much, instead of going back under, you can take your hands onto the ankles, pull your chest forward and just remain in this position and don't worry about going for further. Yeah. This might be your Kurmasana today. This is a nice option if your shoulders are above your knees or if they're not far enough down. Because if I were to take my arms back when my shoulders are high, you see I'll be right on my elbows. It's a lot of pressure. If you did this for Kurmasana, Supta Kurmasana could be this. You keep holding the ankles, feet together, tuck your chin, round your back. That could be your Supta Kurmasana. The next posture, Garbha Pindasana, lotus, half lotus, or no lotus. So no lotus, just hold your ankles, balance on your bum. When it comes time to lift into Garbha Pindasana, whatever position your legs are in, that's how you would, would leave them there when you lift up. Um, at some point, there will be a Chakrasana, backward rolling somersault. 
there's four opportunities to do that today. Anytime we finish an asana lying on our back, that's when we apply chakrasana. Chakrasana is just another technique of, of a vinyasa, yeah? but you would roll backwards. If you can do that, go for it, but be aware of your surroundings. Teaching in Zoom, I find myself giving all kinds of instructions I've never had to give in a classroom before, like, whoa, Linda, don't jump back. Your dog is on the back of the mat, or <laughs> your child just came into the room, or whoa, remember your bicycle is there, or, you know, whatever. So just be aware of your surroundings when you're flowing around like that. But you do have this option. Let's say the first chakrasana comes after this, this posture here. When you hear me say chakrasana, you could do it, or you simply cross your legs, sit up, and say, whatever, David, and don't do it. It's okay. Leave chakrasana out if you need to. Setu Vandasana. I'm going to take you to the preparation for this posture. You'll turn your feet out like a duck or like Charlie Chaplin. I can use that example for people in France. You can bend your knees, bring your feet about one third of the way to the bum. Elbows down, chest up, head back. Arms across the chest. You could just remain here. Those of you who are able would go further up. For the three back bends at the end, or at the closing sequence, you can leave your shoulders down, or you can put your hands there, go all the way up. You decide. For the shoulder stand, of course, there's the option of going all the way up. But you could also leave your hips, like your bum and your hands. Your hands could remain here as you flow through this whole sequence of shoulder stand, you might need to leave your hands there. You can even do the sequence with your bum on the floor. So your legs only would move through the sequence, but you would just remain lying on your back. Or the headstand. If you can do it and go up, great. If you have any neck issues or you want a nice alternative, you could do this thing people call a dolphin with the head just dangling there between the upper arms. My head's not even touching the floor. You could remain like this. The final three postures can all be done in full lotus, half lotus, or no lotus. So no lotus, you would just hear, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay? I'll remind you of these options if it looks like you need them as we're flowing along. Next thing, some alternatives for the jumps. There's a lot of jumping in primary series, more than any other, se oh, excuse me, more than any other sequence, yeah? So if you need to um, leave some out, you can. There's a lot of ways of doing it. You can sit in the middle of a mat and sort of roll forward on hands and knees, taking feet back, or a very common method feet near the bum, hands here, pumping the arms and shooting the feet back, yeah? Coming back through, you could, you could hop forward or even just walk your feet forward and sit down. Or if you need to just totally leave it out, you would follow the, the breath, inhale, lift up, exhale, jump back, inhale, upward dog, Exhale, downward dog. When it's time to jump through, shoot your legs through. Be happy. It's okay. I'll begin the class with the chanting. I make it optional. You do not have to chant if you don't want to. Yeah? I don't assume people like to chant. But I'll say, we'll all say OM together. Yeah? I will say one line you repeat that line. And then we say OM at the end. If you don't want to do that, you just stand and breathe. If you do want to, but you don't know the words, it might go like this. We would all say OM. Then I would say Vande Guru Nam Charanarvinde. And you might say Vande Raparaparuparaparinde. 
you just hum along like that song on the radio. You love it, but you don't really know the words. Your enthusiasm is more important than your accuracy. You just go for it. It's basically a way of, of giving appreciation and thanks to people that walked the path before us. Yeah. Um, someone says my microphone is scratching a bit. Is it still scratching? There's nothing I can do about it. It's that's why I use this one. When I have a clip on, it was really noisy. This one seems to be less scratchy than the clip on variety. Okay. Any questions before we start? All right, it's going to be 5A, 3B, full primary series. I'll do a little bit. I'll do some of the sun salutations with you just to get in the vibe. And then I'll sit down here and monitor the situation, see if you need any specific input. So, samastitihi. Here's the optional chanting beginning with an om. Ande Guru Nam Charanar Vinde Sandarishita Svatma Sukava Bodhe. Nishre ase jangale kayamane samsara hala hala moha shanti abahu purushakaram shanka chakrasi dharinam Sahastra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjalim Samastitihi Surya Namaskara A. Ekam inhale, arms up. They exhale fold. Rini inhale, head up. Chitwari exhale, feet back and lower. Ancha inhale. Shot exhale. Full deep breathing here. One. Two, three, four, five. Septa, inhale forward. Asha, exhale. Nava inhale. Samasitihi. Again, same thing. Ekam inhale. Ve exhale. Trini inhale. Chetvari exhale. Pancha inhale. Shat exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sapta inhale forward. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, up. Namastitihi. Again. 
Ekerman Hale, arms up. They exhale, fold. Jenny, inhale, head up. Chitwari, exhale, jumper step back and lower. Pancha, inhale, chest up. Shot, exhale, hips back. One, listen to your breath. Two, three, four, five. Sapta, inhale, feet forward. Ashtao, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, arms up. Samastitihi. Again, same thing. Ekam, inhale, arms up. Ve, exhale, fold. Vrini, inhale. Chitvari, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. If you need to rest, just come down to your knees, sit back on your heels. One. Two, the breath should always be the primary focus. Three. Four. Five. Sapta, inhale, feet forward. Ashta, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale up. Samastitihi. Last one. Ekam, inhale, arms up. De, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, head up. Chitvari, exhale, feet back and lower. Pancha, inhale, lift your chest. Shut, exhale, hips back. Palms flat on the floor, fingers spread wide. One, two, breath, nice, full, deep. Three, four, Five. Sapta, inhale, feet forward. Ashta, exhale. Nava, inhale. Samastitihi. Now B. Ekam, inhale, knees bend, arms up. They exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, head up. Chetwari, exhale, feet back and lower. Pancha, inhale. Shut, exhale. Sapta, inhale, right foot forward, back foot flat, arms up, hands touch. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower. Control your breathing. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, left foot, arms up, hands touch. Exhale, hands down, step back and lower. Inhale. Exhale. Remember, you have the option to take the knees to the floor if you need to rest. One. Two. Relax your neck. Let your head just dangle there. Hang there. Three. Four. Five. Inhale forward. Exhale fold. Inhale, knees bend, arms up, hands touch. Exhale, samastitihi. You're a little ahead, Samir. 
Again, inhale, knees bend, arms up, hands touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, take your feet back and lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, step right foot forward, arms up, hands touch. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, step left. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Where is your breath? One. That sound, that wondrous sound of breathing, two, is our mantra. Three, listen to that sound. Four, it's pumping you full of life force energy. Five, inhale, bring your feet forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, knees bend, arms up, hands touch. Samastitihi, last one. Ekam inhale, knees bend, arms up. Ve, exhale, fold. Trini, inhale, head up. Chitvari, exhale, jump or step back and lower. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. <clears throat> Sapta, inhale, step right. Ashtao, exhale, hands down, step back lower. Nava, inhale. Desha, exhale. Ekad, desha, inhale, left. Vad, desha, exhale. Trayod, desha, inhale. Chatur, desha, exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Panchadasha, inhale. Shodasha, exhale. Saptadasha, inhale, knees bend, arms up. Samastitihi, first standing posture, inhale, take your feet apart. Fold forward, catch your big toes, two fingers. Inhale there, exhale and enter. One. Notice how the inhales create length and the exhales depth, two. That means every time you inhale, the top of your head gets closer to the floor, three. Every time you exhale, you sink a little closer to your legs, four. Five, inhale, chest up. Exhale, slide your hands under your feet. Inhale there first, exhale and fold forward. Relax your neck. One. Let your head hang there like a piece of fruit hanging off of a tree. Two. Three. Four. Five. Chest up, inhale. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale up. Exhale and samastitihi. Utita trikonasana. Inhale, open to the right, extend your arms. Turn your right foot out, exhale, enter. 
If you can take the big toe, if not, your hand could be on your shin. One, create some length in your spine. Two, SCC, I don't know the name. Three, instead of just your hand hanging there, put it on your shin so you're actually grabbing hold of something. Four, you don't have to grab the foot, but you can grab the shin if you need to, or the ankle. Five, inhale up and turn, exhale, other side. One, the reason we try to hold the toe or the ankle or whatever, two, is you're meant to be lifting up away from that. Three, and when you lift up and away, the upper ribs will drop down. Four, so if the arm is just floating in space, you can't get that same effect. Five, inhale up, turn, Padavrita Trikonasana, left foot in, right foot out, fold over the right leg, left arm down, right arm up. One. Twisting should always contain lengthening, two. So it's more of a spiraling action. Three, so you're reaching through the top of your head, but also back through your tailbone. Four, five, look down. Inhale up and turn. Exhale into the other side. One, if ever you feel a bit wobbly, two, you can bring that front foot a little out toward the side of the mat. Three, Kim, instead of putting your hand on the block, just put your hand on your own leg, then you don't need a block. Four, just put your hand on your shin or on top of your leg. There you go. Then you don't need a block. Five, and look down. Inhale up. Exhale, samastitihi. Inhale again, open to the right, extend your arms. It's a wider stance. Turn your right foot out. Exhale and enter. Bend the right leg. If possible, right hand to the floor, left arm by your ear. One. Two, if you can't reach the floor, you can leave your arm on top of the leg. No problem. Three. But either way, you want to feel a long line on the left side of the body right now. Four. Five, inhale, push with your right leg to come up. Pivot, turn round. Exhale into the other side. One. Sarah Prieto, I don't know which one of you is Sarah, but the arm should be on the outside of the leg. Two, so the person next to you, Sarah, I'm speaking to. Three, person next to Sarah, arm outside. There you go. Four. Five, inhale, come up. Pivot, left foot in, right foot out. Bend your right leg. Twisting, Paravrita. Parasvakonasana. I'll give you a moment to get yourself together. If that back foot comes up while you're getting in, that's okay, but then it needs to come back flat to the floor. One. Sometimes it's helpful to bring that front foot a little bit out to the side. Two, that will facilitate getting that foot down back there. Three. Four. So Sarah Viv on the next side, try to get that back foot flat onto the floor. Five, look down. Inhale and come up and pivot and turn round and exhale into the other side. <clears throat> Remember, if you're having a hard time getting that foot down, bring your front foot a little bit out toward the side of the mat. That'll help. One. <clears throat> Two. Isabel, take your arm by your ear. Three, instead of pointing at the, yeah, you want that long line on the side of the body. Four, or you can do it with palms together also. That's okay. Five, look down. 
Inhale, coming up. Exhale, and samastitihi. Prasarita padottanasana. Inhale, open to the right. Feet parallel, hands on your waist. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat, even if you need to bend your knees. Inhale with your chest up first. Don't enter yet, Isabel. Now exhale, bow forward. So there's a breath before you enter there. One, position your hands and elbows so that they're shoulders width apart. Two, and the lower arms should be like two sticks sticking straight up out of the ground. Three, breathe deep. Four, five, chest up, inhale. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale, up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, extend your arms straight to the sides. Exhale, hands to your waist again. They remain there as you inhale, puff your chest up. Exhale, bow forward. The hands remain right where they are. And breathe deep. One, relax your necks and look back through your legs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, pause there. C, inhale, extend your arms again. Exhale, hands behind, lace your fingers together. Inhale, pull the arms away from your body. And then exhale and bow forward. Once again, dropping your head, look back through your legs and breathing deep. One. Two, if you feel like you're hanging back on your heels right now, shift your weight a little bit forward. Three, four, five. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your waist. Leave your hands there as you inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Catch your big toes, two fingers of each hand. Lift your chest first with an inhale. Bow forward as you exhale. One. Straighten your wrists and lift your elbows and shoulders. Two. And now move the elbows toward the sides of the room so your arms make a beautiful boxy shape. Three. Isabel, you can bring your arms a little bit toward your legs. Four, sometimes arms will go too far back. They just stay in line with the shoulders. Five, chest up, inhale. Exhale, hands to waist. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, return to the front of the mat. Samastitihi. Once again, inhale, open to the right. Turn to the back of the mat, bring your hands behind your back, either in a prayer position behind you or catch your wrists. Fold forward over your right leg. One. Where is your breath? Two. Three. SCC, you can tuck your chin a little bit. Four, so lengthen the back of your neck rather than lifting the chin up. Five, inhale, rise up, not too fast. You don't want to get dizzy. Turn to the other side and exhale. Keep some weight in your back foot. One. Two. SCC, you could have a little longer stance. Three, four, five. Inhale up, release, exhale, and samastitihi. Feet together, arms by your sides. Utita hasta parangustasana A. Inhale, raise your right leg. 
Catch the big toe, two fingers, left hand on your waist. Exhale, fold over the leg if appropriate. One. Oh, Leah, thank you. I was going to call you admin. Two. <laughs> Three. Are you not sure of the posture, Julia? Four. Now this. Five. Inhale up. Exhale, open leg right, look left, same time. One, two, three. Samir, wrong posture. Samir, four, it's not half lotus yet. Five, inhale, center, exhale, touch. Inhale, up, press your hands to your waist, point the right foot, breathing. One, two, we're in this posture right now. Three, four, five, and down. Left side, inhale, left foot up. Exhale, fold over the leg if appropriate. Otherwise, remain standing. One, two, three, four, Five, inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, open leg left, look right, same time. One, if you can't grab the toe, you can hold your knee. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, center. Exhale, touch. Inhale, stand tall, stand up. Exhale, release, press your hands into your waist. One, point that left foot, two, Breathe deep, three, four, five, and down. Adha Bhada Padmottanasana. Inhale, right foot up to a half lotus. Remember we spoke about this before class. You can hold foot and knee. Those of you who are able to bind and fold, do so. I'll see if anyone needs them. One. Those of you folding, left hand on the floor close to the outside of the left foot. Two. Rosemary, take your left hand under the foot instead of over. Three, if that makes sense. Four. It's easier to bend the arm and grab the elbow then. Five. Chest up, inhale. Exhale, pause there. Inhale all the way up. Release the right foot and feet together. Left side, inhale. If appropriate, bind and fold or use the, the right alternative for your body today. One, those of you folding forward, your right hand should be close to the right foot. Two, three, Four, five, chest up, inhale. Exhale, pause there. Inhale all the way up. Release and samastitihi. Good job. Inhale, both arms up over your head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, jump or step back and lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back. Hop both feet forward with an inhale. Enter Utkatasana. Your bum drops, your chest lifts, your hands touch and breathe. One. Ankles touching toes, touching knees, touching two. You're dropping and lifting equally. Three. Breathe deep. Four. Five. Exhale, fold, hands down. Inhale, up. And exhale, jump. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Raise your arms, hands touch. Virabhadrasana A position. One. 
Two, the same dropping and lifting oppositional forces at play. Three, four, five, inhale, straighten the right and pivot and turn round and bend the left. One, two, three, four, five. B, open your arms in line with your legs. Look over your left fingertips. Keep that left leg bent. One, open your whole torso to the side of the room. Two, move your inner left knee forward and your upper right pelvis back. Three, four, Five, inhale, straighten the left, turn, bend the right, gaze over your right fingertips. <clears throat> One, full deep breathing as usual. Two, three, Edmani, you can lower your both arms a little bit. There you go. Four, five, swing your hands down to the mat. And either step back or hop up first, your choice, and then lower. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, come all the way through to sitting. Straighten your legs in front of you. Press your hands to the floor. Lift your chest, but drop your head toward your chest. One. We're in this posture, if you're not sure. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pashmatanasne. Take two fingers of each hand, catch your big toes. Then exhale and fold forward. One. Two. Every inhale, your head gets closer to the toes. Three. Four. Five. Chest up, inhale. B is four fingers on the bottom of the feet, thumbs on top of the feet, rolling the outer edges of the feet back and then fold forward. One, elongate the back of your neck. Two, and move your shoulders a little down toward your waist. Three, Rosemary, just tuck your chin a little bit. Just, yeah, even a little more. Four, just tuck in, yeah, like that and breathe. Five, inhale, chest up. If you were at your re maximum repeat, otherwise reach around, catch one of your wrists, and then fold forward. One. Two, inhales create length and exhales depth. Three, Four, five, inhale, chest up, exhale, release, hands down, cross your legs, the first jump back, inhale, lift up, exhale, and jump back, don't hurry, inhale, upward dog, exhale, hips back, inhale, coming through, Exhale, slide your hands back. Inhale, head back, hips up, feet down, breathing deep. One, you could do this with bent knees if you need to. Two, three, four, and five, come down. Cross your legs again. 
Inhale, lift, and exhale, jump back. Remember, you could leave these out if you need to. Inhale, upward dog, pace yourself. Exhale, downward dog. Ardha Bhada Padma Pashamatanasana, inhale, coming through. Right foot, half lotus, left leg straight. Same as standing, you can either try to bind that foot or use a modification. If appropriate, fold forward directly over the left leg. One. Two. Three. Shemaine, hold the whole foot with your left hand, not just the toe. Four. Yes. Five. Chest up, inhale. And release. If you need to wait, do so. Otherwise, inhale, lift. And exhale, jump back. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Other side, inhale. <clears throat> Left foot, half lotus. If appropriate, bind the foot and fold forward. Otherwise, remain sitting up. One. Two. SCC, you don't have to fold forward if it's too much on your knee. Three. You can remain sitting up if you need to. I notice you're not binding, so just be careful with your knee. Four, yeah. Five, chest up, inhale. Exhale, release, legs cross. Lift, inhale, and jump back, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back, downward dog. Inhale, coming through. Triang Mukhaik Padapashtamatanasana, right foot back, foot outside the hip, left leg straight. If you need your left hand on the floor, that's okay. Otherwise, both hands forward. And folding and breathing. One, two, three. Lengthen the back of your neck. Four. Five. Chest up, inhale. Release. And lift, inhale. And jump back, exhale. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Left side, inhale, coming through. Left foot back, right leg straight. Two hands forward unless you need one of them on the floor. It's also okay to put a block or something under that right hip. One. As usual, the inhales lengthen the spine. Two. And the exhales draw you deeper into the posture. Three. Four. Five, chest up, inhale, and release. Inhale, lift, and exhale, jump back. Inhale, chest up, exhale, hips back. Janu Shirshasana A, inhale, coming through. Pull the right foot in toward the inner left thigh. 90 degree angle between your knees, two hands forward. And enter. One. The Janu Shashasana sequence is actually a little bit of a spinal twist. Two, meaning your torso is rolling out on top of the extended leg. Three, so rather than parallel inside of it, Four, the chest should come right out on top of that leg. 
five, chest up, inhale, release, exhale. If you need to leave a vinyasa out, please do so. Otherwise, inhale, lift, and exhale, and jump back. Inhale, exhale, left side, inhale. And enter. One, try to glide your shoulders down the back toward the waist. Two, three, four. Five, inhale, chest up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, jump. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. B, inhale, coming through. Sitting on top of your right heel. 85 degree angle between your two knees, both hands forward, and enter. One, so the sits bones are actually floating in the air if you get the heel in the right place. Two, if that's too much or too intense, three, just repeat the previous one. You okay, Asya? Four, that's all right, just repeat A, repeat A again. Five, chest up, inhale. Exhale, release. Either wait or inhale, lift. And exhale and jump. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Left side, inhale, coming through. Sitting on the left heel or repeating A, either way, two hands forward and enter. One. Two, lengthen the back of your neck. Three. Four. Five, inhale, chest up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, jump. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, coming through. Ready for Janu Shashasana C position? If you know it, go ahead, rotate your foot and enter. I'm going to show alternatives up here. I can grab my outer ankle, pull my heel in toward my belly like this. Those of you that are already in there, that's one. So I could just remain sitting with the hands in this position. Two, or I could start to rotate the foot. Three, but without releasing the foot, I would just remain sitting up this way. Four. Five, inhale, chest up, exhale, release. Remember your options, you could wait or inhale, lift and exhale, back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, coming through. Left side. and enter. One. Two, it's important to figure out appropriate variations. Three, and then apply them when need be, yeah? Four. 
Five, chest up, inhale. Release. Inhale, lift. And exhale and jump. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips back. Marichyasana A. Inhale, coming through. Right knee up, left leg straight. There should be a little space between your right foot and left leg. Wrap the right arm round, two hands behind, and folding forward. One. If you can't clasp your hands, it's okay. Two, you can even leave left hand on the floor right now if you need to. Three, keep your breath pumping. Four, that's the main focus regardless of everything else. Five, inhale, chest up. Release, exhale. Lift, inhale, and jump back, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left side. Inhale. And exhale. One. It's okay for the left hip to come off the floor. Two. Use the left arm, push it against your shin. Three, that'll help to draw your chest forward. Four. Five. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back, downward dog. Inhale, coming through. Ready for Marichyasana B. Either left foot, half lotus right knee up. Or if that's too much, remember, just put the foot on the floor. Tuck it behind your heel. No problem. Life is good. Same upper body position unless you need, need to remain sitting up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, chest up, inhale. Release, lift, inhale, and jump back. Remember, you can wait if you want to as well. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Other side, inhale, coming through. Right foot, half lotus, left knee up. We'll put the foot on the floor. Wrapping the left arm round and enter. One. Two. Quarterly, bring your left foot a little out toward the side of the mat. Three. Yeah, like that. Even if the left hip pops up, that's okay. Four. Five, chest up, inhale, release, lift, inhale, jump back, exhale, inhale, exhale, Marichyasana C, inhale, jump, bend your right leg, right knee up, left leg straight. Now twisting, you can hug the right leg with your left arm, put your right hand on the floor behind you, or try wrapping all the way around. One. 
In C, you want to try to keep both hips on the floor. Two, SCC, take your right hand a little further away from your hip, just a little bit back, your other hand. Four, yeah, that'll give more space across the shoulders. Five, inhale, look forward. Release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, jump back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming through. Other side, left knee up, right leg straight, twisting round. Don't cross the foot over, just leave it on the inside of the leg. SCC, one. Oh no, maybe it's right, I couldn't tell. Sometimes two. Lift through the top of your head, everyone. Three. That's gonna give more space for the breath. Four, that elongation of the spine. Five, inhale, gaze forward, release. Lift, inhale, and jump back. Inhale, chest up, don't hurry. Exhale, hips back. D, inhale, coming through. Left foot, half lotus, right knee up, or do the same thing you did in B. You can leave the foot on the floor, tuck it behind your heel, and then twisting round. I'll give you a moment to get in there. Look up here if you're not sure. One, my foot's on the floor, like this. Two, three, four, five, inhale, look forward, release. Lift, inhale and jump, exhale. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Other side, inhale, coming through. Right foot, half lotus, left knee up, twisting round. I'll give you a moment or two to figure out where you need to be today. One, two, if your breath is restricted, back out till you find the depth again of the breath. Four, five, inhale, look forward, release, lift, inhale, and jump, exhale, inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Navasana, the boat posture. Inhale, jump directly into the boat because you can't wait to get in there. One, breathing deep. Two, three, four, five. Hands down, legs cross. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit down and again, raise your legs. Second time. One, two, point your toes. Three, Four, five, hands down, legs cross. Inhale up, exhale down, again, breathing deep. One, two, three. Be sure your arms are parallel to the floor. Four, there's not a, a name on the screen. Five, that's it. Hands down, cross your legs. Inhale up, exhale down. Two more of these. One, two, three. Four, five, hands down, legs cross. Inhale up and down and raise your legs. Last one, one, two, three, rosemary palms facing in. Four, five, hands down, legs cross. Inhale up, exhale and jump back. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Bhujapidasana. If you know how to enter from down dog, do so. 
If you know how to cross your feet and fold forward, go for it. If you need alternatives, you can look up here. Those of you that are already in there, that's one. You could leave hands and feet on the floor and squat down. Two, bending the arms to create a little shelf. Three, and maybe this is as far as you go today. That's okay. Four, another time you can think of crossing your ankles. So stay here if you need to. Five, inhale, chest up. Choose your favorite exit. If you know how to shoot your back, do so. Or if you know how to fall on your bum, that's also fine. Then upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Kurmasana is next. Inhale, coming through. Unless you know how to enter from down dog. Bend your legs, either arms back through the legs or grab your ankles and pull your chest forward. One. Leah, we're in Kurmasana now. Two, yes. Three, Christina, just drop your head, relax your neck. Four, there you go. Five, soften your legs. Either you take your hands back behind your back, or if you're holding your ankles, hermana, just bring, keep holding your ankles, touch your feet together, round your back and tuck your chin, pull your head down toward your feet. One. Two, three, four. In a moment, you're going to use your favorite extraction method here. Five. Figure out how to get out of there. Some people just press right up from there. Otherwise, you just sit up. Take your standard jump back. Inhale and upward dog. Exhale and downward dog. Garba Pindasana, inhale coming through. You can be in lotus, half lotus, or no lotus. <clears throat> Those of you who know how to do this with lotus and put your arms through your legs, do so. Otherwise, just cross your legs, pull your legs up toward your chest. That's correct, Edmana. Just like that, no problem. Balance only on your bum. One. Grab your ankles, SCC. Two, grab your ankles and pull them into you. Three, like that, yes. Four, and in a moment you're gonna roll around, be aware of the space around you. Five, tuck your chin to your chest and roll back as you exhale. <clears throat> One, keep turning a little bit each time. Two, turning clockwise. Three, four, five, you're coming around the other side. Six, Seven, on the ninth, you'll be at the front. Eight, and nine, you're at the front of the mat. Inhale and lift up. Hands on the floor. One, hands down, lift up. Two, that's it. Lift your bum off the floor. Look straight ahead. Three, don't look down. Four, five, release. Very good. Your reward for that is inhale, lift up, and exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, coming through. <clears throat> Badha Konasana. Pull your feet in toward your groin and then open the feet like a book. So four fingers on top of the feet, thumbs inside and just pry them open. Lift your chest and now bow forward over your legs. One, we'll do two phases of this today. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, sit up, tuck your chin into your chest, round your back and pull your head down toward your feet. One, of course, you're still breathing deep as always. Two, three, 
four, five, inhale, sit all the way up. Release your feet, hands down, cross your legs. Inhale, lift, and exhale, jump. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Upa Vishta Konasana, inhale, coming through. <clears throat> Open the feet as wide apart as you can. Try to grab the outside edges of your feet with your hands and then bow forward. Don't let your legs roll in. One, keep the feet and knees pointing straight up at the sky. Two. Three. Feet on the floor, Samir. Try to grab your feet. Four. That's it. Five, chest up, inhale. Exhale, pause. Release your feet, inhale, pop up, and now catch your feet, balance on your bum, and breathe. One, like that, yeah? You can look up, two, three, four, five. Release, hands down, legs cross. Lift, inhale, and jump back, exhale. I don't know what that sound is. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming through. Exhale and lie down. Inhale, raise both legs up over your head. Open the feet wide, catch your big toes and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, roll up and over the top like a big wheel. And then exhale down the other side without crashing. Chest up, inhale, and release. Cross your legs, inhale, lift, and exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back, downward dog. Inhale, coming through. Exhale, lie flat on your back. Inhale, raise your right leg. Grab the big toe, two fingers of the right hand. Exhale, sit up toward the right leg. Take your chin toward your shin and breathe. One, left hand on top of the left leg, Hermana. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, head to the floor. Exhale, open leg to the right. Look to the left and breathe deep. One. Two, use your right hand to try to hold that hip down. Three, four, five, inhale, center. Exhale, try to touch chin to shin. Inhale, head down and release. Other side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, sit up toward the leg, chin toward the shin, breathing deep. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, head down. Exhale, open leg left, gaze right. Use your right hand to try to hold the hip down onto the floor. One. Two. Three. Four. 
Five, inhale, center. Exhale, touch. Inhale, head down and release. Now it's either Chakrasana, which is rolling over backwards or just roll up to a sitting position and take your standard jump back. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Inhale, jump through. Exhale, lie down. Inhale, swing both legs up over your head all the way to the floor, feet together, catch your big toes. Don't stay there. Inhale, roll up and balance on your bum. You can bend your knees to get up and then straighten the legs. One, head back, chin lifted, two, three, four, five, and release, hands down, legs cross. Lift, inhale, and jump, exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, coming through. Again, exhale and lie down. Swing both legs up over your head with an inhale. Catch the outsides of your feet. And then roll up and balance on your bum. Then exhale and Pull the chest and legs together. Hold the feet now, SCC, one. The outsides of the feet with your hands. Two of this. Three. Four. Five. Straighten your arms, inhale, look up. Release, hands down, legs cross. Lift, inhale and jump back, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming through. Exhale, lie down on your back. Extend your legs, touch your heels together, and then bend your knees and bring your feet about one third of the way up to your bum. Leave your bum on the floor, lift your chest, and look back behind you, head on the floor. Cross your arms over your chest, either stay there, or those of you know, know how, push all the way up. One. Two, Armani, your feet are too close to your bum. Three, take them away from your bum. A little more, four. Five, and release and come down. Either Chakrasana, or sit up and jump back. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, coming through. Exhale, lie down, prepare for back bending. You have three back bends. You can leave your shoulders down if you want, or you can stop on top of your head or go all the way up. Bend your knees, the first of three. Inhale and up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, come down and pause one breath. Second one, inhale up. One, two, three, four, five, and come down. Once again, pause one breath. Again, going up. One, two, Three, four, five, and come down. 
either Chakrasana or sit up and jump back. You decide. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Paschimottanasana, forward bend, inhale, come through. Straighten your legs in front of you. And bow forward over your legs. One. Two, three. I'm going to count to 10, which will give you a nice good amount of time of here. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, jump back. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hips back. Inhale, coming through. Prepare for shoulder stand. And lie down on your back. Inhale, legs up, hips up. You can keep your hips in your hands or hands on your back. One. I'm going to count to 10. You can come down early if you need to. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, feet toward the floor over your head. You can leave your hands on your back or bum if you need to. Otherwise, lace your fingers together, pull your arms down, and point the feet. One, this is halasana position. Two, you also have the option of just exiting if you need to. Three, Leah, can you take your hands back behind your back? Four, five, fingers laced together and pull them down to the floor. Six, behind you. Yes, seven, <clears throat> eight. Soften the knees, let them come down toward the floor, point your feet, keep your feet together. One, so the back is meant to round now. Two, this is Karna Pidasana. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Inhale all the way up. Exhale legs to lotus or just crossed legs. If you can put your hands on your legs, on your knees, do so. Otherwise, keep your hands on your back. One. This is Urdhva Padmasana position. Two. You can do it lying flat on your back also. Three. Four, five, 
six seven eight pinned asana legs toward the chest if possible reach around with your arms and hug the legs in toward your body one if you need your hands on your back for support no problem two you can do it lying on your back also, Christina. Three. Yeah, just lie on your back and hug your legs in. Four. Like that. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Release your legs, roll your bum down toward the mat. Lift your chest, head on the floor looking back. Either grab your feet with your hands and pull, or if you're not in lotus, just grab your thighs, one. Either way, you wanna open the frontal body, two, as a counter pose, a counter stretch, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uttana Padasana. Straighten your legs, straighten your arms. If you need the legs on the floor, that's okay. One, otherwise legs are in the air also. Two, point your feet. Three, four, hands together. Five, six, seven, and eight. Release Chakrasana is back. Last opportunity or you just sit up and jump back. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, hips back. Prepare for headstand. Hop forward to a kneeling position. Get your arms in the right position. If you need a wall or something, that's okay. <clears throat> if you can't go all the way up, you can use a dolphin or some other modification. I'm going to start counting as soon as I see enough feet in the sky. So you can just go up as you're prepared. I'll start counting soon. <clears throat> One. I'm going to count to 15. You come down early if you need to. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, you okay, Coralie? Eight, you might have your helper stand with one foot forward, one foot back. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you're able to stay up there, lower your legs halfway to the floor. Till they're parallel to the floor. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and all the way back up with control. Exhale all the way down, feet to the floor, knees to the floor, bum on your heels. Rest your head on the mat and just relax there. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, 
five. Hands down, exhale, hop the feet back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come all the way through to sitting. Place your legs in lotus, half lotus, or no lotus. Arms behind your back, and then bow forward, possibly catching hold of your feet if you're in lotus or not. One, slow the breathing a bit. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten. Inhale, sit all the way up. Arms straight. Touch the thumb and index fingers together, fingers straight, arms resting on your legs. Imagine your chest is full of helium. It's floating up, but your head and chin are heavy and they droop forward. One. Two. Shermaine, try to straighten your arms. That's it. Three. Four. Coralie, just lean a little bit back. Five. So you're right over your hips. Six. Silvana Rita also lean a little bit back. Seven, just a little bit. Yeah. Not too much. Eight. Relax your shoulders, Natalia. Nine. There you go. Ten. Inhale, take your gaze forward. Exhale, put your hands flat on the mat. Inhale and try to lift your bum off the floor. Look straight ahead and breathe while I count to 10. One, two, three, four. Don't look down. Look straight ahead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You are all one jump back from freedom right now. Jump the legs back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come through to sitting. Exhale, roll down onto your back. Close your eyes and relax. If you need to wriggle around, do that. If you have Shavasana accessories, gather those things together. Do whatever messing around you need to do and then become as still as possible. I'm going to keep it simple. I'll just say a few words and then I'll just leave you in silence.
First, just take a big inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth with a sigh, like <sighs> two more times like that. Inhale and <sighs> one more time. Nice big inhale and <sighs> no more effort. Surrender to the pull of gravity. Just observe as your breath rate and heartbeat begin to slow down. Let tiredness or stress drip away from your body. And then use these quiet moments to soak up the positive energy from your practice, life force, prana. Soak it up like a sponge. I'm going to leave you in silence for a couple of minutes. And then I'll bring you out of your relaxation. So for now, just enjoy the stillness. Begin to bring some awareness back to your breath. And now a tiny bit of movement to your fingers and toes. The 
expand your breath, increase the movement. With a big inhale, raise your arms over your head and stretch and lengthen. Exhale, relax. Bring your knees up to your chest. Give yourself a nice, big, loving hug. Rock from side to side. Tip over to either side. Release your knees. Sink into the floor. And then slowly sit up. Congratulations, full primary series. Well done. We have a few minutes for some questions. You can go into where it says participants and click there and virtually. Okay, good. Technical difficulties. Too bad you couldn't hear me. It was profound what I was saying. It was like life changing stuff. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, you missed that part. It was amazing. I should have written it down. <laughs> so anything you want to talk about? Anybody have a question? You can go like that. David, I have a question. Okay. okay, Kim, you have a question? Yes. You'll have to unmute yourself. Yes. Do you hear me? Do you I hear me? I can't hear you. One moment. Technical problems here today. Oh, should be working. Do you hear me now? David? I've got no speaker. My speaker is not working. Um, no, no. Let me try again. Uh, uh, I don't know if other people, they hear me. Rosemary, you hear me? Yeah. Samir, we, yes. I you. David, I can hear you. David's gone now. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can hear me. You're going to have to type your questions in my speakers. Yes. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. The speaker's working. Woo. Okay. Do you hear me now, David? Yeah, it's so loud. Yes. I have to turn it down one moment. <laughs> I can really hear you. It's loud. Da David, my uh, Ashtanga yoga practice, my only concern is that you get injured. So, um, because I have heard a lot of people uh, getting injured by practicing uh, Ashtanga, and, yeah. um, and, and I know that you never get injured in your life. Right. And uh, could you please share with us your secrets? Thank yes. you. Well, you're right. I've never had an injury from practicing yoga. I got injured from other people pushing me. <laughs> That's why I started doing teacher training courses to teach people how to not hurt, hurt others. Yeah. Honestly, I, there's a few, few different things. When I started doing yoga, it was 1969. It was just hippies doing yoga. 
in the late 60s and early 70s, it was just hippies. Hippies were not in a hurry to do stuff. Wow, you know, this is going to take a lifetime. Cool, dude. I've got nothing else going on, man. Like, okay. So they weren't in a hurry. Nowadays, all walks of society are doing yoga. So some really successful people became successful from pushing themselves. Yeah, they want to strive and want to get ahead and, and push. And you can't blame them for that because that's how people become successful in business and so many other things, yeah, or athletes and students and whatever. So when they come to yoga, that can be one reason, yeah, is we're kind of pushing. It can also come from teachers that adjust too much. But it can also come from an attitude of teachers that create an environment that is very competitive. Yeah. And, and it's so funny because on one hand, teachers, yoga teachers will say, welcome to yoga. There's no competition in yoga. We're all equal on the mat. It doesn't matter if you're flexible or strong or weak or young or old. But then they say, now stop. Everyone look at Betty Sue. Oh, my God. Isn't Betty Sue amazing? She's standing on one hand and her legs are on her head and she's the most <laughs> incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow, don't you wish you could do that? There's no competition in yoga, right? The, the flexy person, the strong person gets all the praise, you know, or it all becomes about how we look. And so even without realizing it, there's this idea that you have to look a certain way. And so that's where injuries can happen, I think, yeah? That's one thing. The other is focus on your breath. If you really just focus on your breath, you won't get hurt because your breath will tell you if you start hearing yourself going, wow, danger zone. Yeah. If you keep the breath calm, you won't get hurt. In my opinion, there's too much power in the hands of teachers. The real guru is the practice. It's not a person. A good teacher creates thinking students. An excellent teacher creates students that do not need them anymore. You teach the students to feel their body. No one has to tell you if something hurts. So when we were learning, in some ways, there were no teachers, so we had freedom that we didn't get hurt, yeah? So I would say just instead of trying to go 100% in your practice, work at 85% and be happy. This yoga is our medicine. You can take too much medicine, yeah? You can have too much of a good thing. We need to understand how to, how to practice in such a way we feel better at the end. And if we're feeling pain or we're too sore, change how we practice. And it makes me really sad when people talk about Ashtanga with a reputation like, oh, people get hurt. And I go, but that's, that's like saying you got hurt from getting a massage. Why are people getting hurt and beat up from the practice? It doesn't make sense. And honestly, there's all kind of injuries in other systems of yoga. It just doesn't get like even Iyengar yoga or, or systems that are very focused on alignment. There's all kind of injuries because people are trying to force their body into a particular shape. If you focus on your breath and learn to feel your body, you'll be fine. Yeah. So I now give all of you permission to enjoy your yoga. <laughs> it's okay. Be happy. Just do your practice, eat the medicine, and go about your day. And don't worry, was it full primary? Was it half primary? Was it second? Who cares, man? Just get on your mat, do some yoga, get some prana in your body, and go out there and make the world a better place, man. The world needs some, some healing right now. <laughs> That's a long answer to a simple question. <laughs> no, it's great answer. Thank you. Other questions? Isabel, you have a question? No, somebody had a question. Samir, no? I thought somebody had a question. 
You don't have to ask questions. There's a in the chat. Let's hear the questions in here. We're just people saying. Uh, I just want to say thank you. Um, I di I'm dialing in from Singapore today. Oh, and, nice. And, uh, yeah, it's quite a good time for me, it turns out. And I think what you said today is like where, you know, when we were moving into our pos postures and you said uh, where you are today, like um, try to get into where you are today, where your body is today. That helped me a lot because I think um, you can get a bit proud. There can be a bit pr of pride in there, but proud I did it yesterday or did it last year. And then uh, I'm not able to get into this position today. So, so I just wanted to just make that comment and say thanks for reminding me where, where we are today, where I am today. And um, I, think, I think that's really important. Mm. Well, keep in mind, it's always called a yoga practice. It's yeah. never the performance. Can you imagine if in a yoga room, there was a, a judges at a table and every time you did an asana, they hold up a number. You know, you get like a seven or a three or a... Oh. It's not a competition, yeah? And the sooner that we can gain a little sense of humor about our journey, that is a day of freedom. It's your personal practice. The duty of a teacher is just to encourage, to inspire, and to facilitate practice. It's not to direct your life, yeah? It's to, to try to help you. And every day is different. And when people say, how do you practice as you're aging? Well, you're older right now than you were three hours ago. We get on the mat and some days you feel great. Like, yeah, this is so cool. The next day you step on, you're like, oh my God, whose body is this? Ow, ow, uh, that's reality. That's for everyone. It's not like every day we step on the mat and we're like a steady march to some kind of bliss or something. It's, it's like that, it's medicine. Yeah, some days easier, some days harder. But we have to accept that things change and sometimes they don't change the direction we want them to. Like I could be really bummed that I don't have hair. <laughs> it's a little disturbing, but what are my choices? I could start combing it across, you know, like that. <laughs> or get a bunch of plugs put in there. So, or I just go like, deal with it, dude. You know, sorry, that's the luck of the draw. You got the this you know, shiny head. It just is what it is. I want you to imagine something for a moment, which is almost Im impossible to imagine, but <clears throat> a friend of mine, she's blind from birth. So she's never seen anything in her life. Yeah. Try to imagine for one moment, you've never seen anything. You've never had an image enter your eyes and into your brain. So you've never seen a thing. That means you've never seen a yoga book. You've never seen a yoga video. You haven't seen YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, none of this stuff. Yeah. You can't see anyone else in the room and you can't see your reflection. Now, what is yoga? Yeah. How do you feel? The real yoga is what we cannot see. But check out how much of yoga has become about how we look, not how we feel, yeah? So once again, today is different than yesterday. Tomorrow will be, be different. It's okay. You know, I'm from Texas. And Texas, it's like the spiritual hub of the world, as everybody knows. It's where all the spiritual people live, you know? Down there in Texas, we have a saying. When you get up in the morning... You say, I'm still on the right side of the grass. <laughs> as long as you get up and you're still on the correct side of the grass, good. Another day. I'll try again. Yeah. That's what we can do. Anything? Any other questions? Let's see if this is a question or a comment in here. Somebody needs to slow their practice down. That's okay. You can practice fast if you want. It's all right. Um, the beauty of this practice is 
even though it, it's the same, like you do the same thing, it can be done in a lot of different ways. You can practice faster, you can practice slower, you can leave vinyasas out, you can push yourself further, you can back out. There's myriad ways to adjust it. So sometimes it's fun to practice faster, but you can experiment and see how it feels. Did, did, did today feel much slower than you usually practice? Yeah. Yeah. How long does it normally take you to finish? About an hour and 20. This class was an hour and 20 minutes. It was, a, it was like an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, right. Maybe it was, I don't know, it might have been an hour 25 or something, but it wasn't hugely different. It felt uh, slower. And it's also, it's a little different when, when I'm guiding a class and trying to look at all the two inch tall people on there. I never knew I'd, I'd end up, you know, teaching people that are this high. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's crazy about life in this whole situation we're in, I used to go, I will never teach online. <laughs> but here it is, you know, and now I, I see it as a tool, right? Like, okay. And students seem to, to enjoy it. And what's amazing, there's people from all over the place around Europe and Singapore and Greece and whatever. Wow. Here we are. Yeah. So right now in theory, I'm teaching in Paris and in three hours from now, I'll be teaching in California. Recently in one day, I taught in London and Jakarta and Miami. <laughs> You couldn't do that physically, yeah, unless it was Star Trek and they just beam you up, you know, from one place <laughs> to another. But, so there's benefits, but I, I do miss the days where we could be in the same room together, but this is the next best thing. It's okay. You know, eventually things will turn the corner, but, you know, yoga people were supposed to be patient, yeah. And what I'm finding, like with this whole COVID thing, it's an extreme. It's either like total lockdown. And the moment they lift that, it's just like an orgy. You know what I mean? Like people either just go crazy or, or nothing. If you could just find the middle path, you know, things would, would work out. But um, anyway, we should feel very lucky that we have this practice. You know, life's a lot harder without yoga. And if, if anything, we should um, just try to find ways to not only enjoy our own practice, but, you know, we get some juice, you know. The world needs good vibes, man. So in a way, if we have a, a source of something that can make us feel good, we should share it. Just share the vibe. It doesn't mean you got to get people to do yoga, but you can go out and just smile at someone. But even now, here's how you smile at someone. Because they can't see you, you know, there's a mask. So I see people like this, they look and they just go like. But there's ways to share the goodness. You know what I mean? There's small things you can, you can exhibit unconditional, unexpected displays of love in a million different ways, yeah? So I don't want to take any more of your time. I, I think we're just, just out, of, out of time. But I want to just quickly say thank you to Ashtanga Yoga Paris and, and Linda and Gerard for hosting me. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for coming and spending these moments with me. You could have been anywhere else on this planet and you chose to spend the time with me. I don't take that lightly. It's humbling. It's an honor. I want to send you my love and respect and say that let us go and prove that maybe not only can we get some personal benefit from this yoga, but just maybe if enough of us do this and share the good vibes, we can make the world a little better place. All right. Love and respect to you all. Please stay safe. Take good care of yourself. Be strong. Be patient. I'll see you down the road. Lots of love. <laughs>